in my last video i talked about what is squat and what are the factors that govern squat uh, in this video i'll be talking about the practical calculation of squat so on the ship when squat is to be calculated squat information diagrams should be used which are available along with maneuvering information of the vessel if such diagrams are not available the squat can then be calculated by simple formula as follows if the ship is in confined conditions then squat will be equal to 2 times the clock coefficient multiplied by the square of the ship speed divided by 100 this formula is based on the assumptions that the vessel's UKC or under keel clearance is about 20% of its draft so let me repeat the formula for you twice the block coefficient if you don't know what block coefficient is block coefficient is the ratio of the ship's underwater volume to the ratio of a triangle having the same length breadth and depth v here is the ship's speed or velocity ship's speed and the key thing here is that the formula is based on the assumption that the vessel's under keel clearance is about 20% of its draft. The second formula is when the vessel is in open waters, not in confined conditions of narrow channels or traffic separation schemes. In this case, the squat is equal to block coefficient multiplied by the square of the ship's speed divided by 100. So the only thing that goes missing here is the 2 that occurs in the previous formula. The above formula are empirical and developed by analyzing the results of at least 300 ships. Hence, these formulae have slight error on the higher side and therefore contains a margin of safety. Change of trim with squat. Now vessels having block coefficient more than 0.7 are called full form vessels such as VLCCs or very large crude carriers, bulk carriers, oil in bulk ores, etc. Vessels having block coefficient less than 0.7 are called fine form vessels. The full form vessels tend to go down by head during squat. The fine form vessels tend to go down by stern during squat. It is basically dependent upon the longitudinal location of the center of flotation LCF and the longitudinal location of the center of buoyancy known as LCB. The full form vessels usually have LCB forward of LCF. So the center of buoyancy longitudinally is forward of the center of flotation. So in case of less of buoyancy or loss of buoyancy due to squat, vessels tend to go down by head and vice versa. In such cases, the general formula for squat calculation is squat equals block coefficient multiplied by the V raised to the power 2.08 divided by 30 multiplied by the blockage factor denoted by S divided by 1 minus the blockage factor in brackets raised to the power 2 by 3. Blockage factor, as we studied before, is the ratio of the vessel's underwater area to the ratio of the channel that it is transiting. So these are the different formulas available to us to calculate the ship's squat in different conditions. Let me know what you thought about this video guys and I'll see you soon with few more topics in the topic of ship handling. Bye.